December, which means that Christmas is coming really fast. And also it's the perfect time for me to show you my 10 favorite apps for this month. For your convenience, I'll be putting all the QR codes down in the corner so you don't have to search through it from the description or from the comments. So, I'll do everything for you. You either love or hate the Apple's Dynamic Island, but one thing is for sure that in order to cover it up, they created an amazing animation system. So, why not bring it to Android? All you have to do is just download Dynamic Spot from Google Play Store, give it the required permissions, and you're good to go. You can change the position and the size of a Dynamic Spot according to your device and liking. You can also make it to show images or make it compatible by not just by making it appear from the top of the screen. One neat feature of this application is that it can also show you the real-time visualization of your music. Moreover, you can tap the spot to make it bigger or swipe it to dismiss the notification. All of these actions have their accompanying smooth animations which are a joy to watch. A day-to-day -day inconvenience of using multiple devices and multiple different operating systems is that, well, it kind of sucks to share files between them. Yes, you can use the cables, but both they're inconvenient and, well, if you're using an Apple product, good luck with that. So, meet with LocalSend. LocalSend is an open source cross-platform file sharing app that you can use on Windows, macOS, Linux, Android, and iOS. It is a modern and minimalistic interface, and unlike some other options, it's a native app, which I always prefer to web-based solutions. All you have to do is to open the app on both systems and send whatever file format that you want to send. It's super fast and reliable and comes to my aid in my day-to-day -day life. Well, while we're on the topic of file management, why not talk about my all-time favorite file explorer app, Solid Explorer. It's designed has become old over the years, but its functionality is as good as new. It has root support and reliable file transfer. I personally use the compress my files for local backup regularly, and unlike some file explorer apps, it does not crash when dealing with really large files. Okay, let's turn back to customization. The next one is for the ones who like to add a little bit of flair and functionality to their cutouts. Note a Progress app is a simple app that shows you, well, progress of what you're doing at a time, either a download or music. You simply adjust the position and size of the progress bar according to your device, and that's it. Now, whenever you download something, you can see the progress bar without going to the notification panel. The app also has a setting of a linear progress bar for those who don't have a camera cutout or prefer it this way. If you're someone like me, you also like to test all the cutting edge software or hardware and love beta programs. Thanks to Google Play Store's amazing beta programs, you can be a beta tester for a lot of apps. However, not every app accepts beta testers continuously. Beta Maniac is here to help you on that front. Once you install it, it will look through all the apps you have installed and show you which ones have beta programs available and which ones don't in a single nicely designed page. From there, you can easily enroll to a beta program with a single click without even opening the Google Play Store. One amazing feature is that you can also set reminders for possible future openings in the beta programs. Simply click on the bell icon and the app will let you know as soon as the developers want more testers. Our next app is kind of related to the rest of this list, and it is F-Droid. For those who are not familiar with F-Droid, it's a third-party application manager for Android, and it consists of free and open-source software. You can either download it directly to your phone, or use the website to download APKs directly. If you choose to download the app, just like Google Play Store, it can update your apps automatically. For our next 5 apps, you can either download them directly from their repositories or 
you can use Fjoy to download, install and update them simultaneously. Ok, we've all been there. You want to send a file to someone else, either for business or school or whatever, and you get that pesky notification saying that, well, the file size is large. FFshare aims to resolve that problem. Simply choose the image or video that you want to send and wait for the magic to happen. Boom, it's ready to send with reduced size. App also gives a little toss message to let you know how much it compressed the file so you can know it at a glance. Very simple app in nature, but really useful for all of us. Okay, another ribbon all day moment is that you are scrolling through your social media, either YouTube or Instagram, and you see a video that is really interesting, but you don't know how to download it, or you simply don't even have an option in app. Our next app aims to solve that problem. Seal is a universal video downloader client for Android. All you have to do is to copy and paste the URL of the video, select the quality that you want to download, and click download. It is simple as that. And I also love that app has a really clean and modern UI. Yes, there are a lot of first party and third party web replications that you can use, but none of them even come close to the customizability and the design of Breezy Weather. What I like most about this app, apart from its well, amazing design, is that you can choose your weather data source. A source that provides accurate data for a specific location doesn't necessarily provide the best data for all other locations. And by choosing your source depending on your location, you can get the most accurate weather forecast for your area. It also has a very nice widget that you can use on your home screen. Okay, we all know that over the years, Google has released a lot of amazing, both dynamic and static wallpapers for their Pixel lineups. Well, with this next app, you can have all of them in a single app with a really beautiful UI. Volman has all the static and live wallpapers Google has released so far. Just choose a wallpaper that you like, choose whether you want a static version or a dynamic version, hit download and apply. That's it. Live wallpapers also work with mono theming just like pixels. And with that, we come to the end of this list. I hope that you at least find one of these applications really nice. If you have any suggestions for the future, just let me know down in the comments so that I can cover it up in the next month's episode. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Take care.